Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today we are going to study the Earth, continental drift, and earthquakes. Lesson 1 of 2. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun at the distance of about 93 million miles or 150 kilometers. The Earth is spherical with a radius of about 6,400 kilometers. It is the fifth biggest planet. It has a total surface area of about 510 million square kilometers, 21% of which is land, 71% of which is covered by water. It has a mass of 60,000 billion tons. It has average temperature of about 15 degrees Celsius. The structure of the earth is divided into four major components. The crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. Each layer has a unique chemical composition, physical state, and can impact life on the surface. Movements in the mantle caused by the variation in the heat from the core cause the plates to shift which can cause earthquake and volcanic eruption. These natural hazards then change our landscape and in some cases threaten lives and property. The earth spins on its axis once in 24 hours producing day and night. The earth revolves in the orbit around the sun in 365 days, 6 hours and 9 minutes, leading to changes in the seasons. of continental drift. Continental drift is the hypothesis that the Earth's continents have moved over geological time relative to each other and are still moving even today. The several theories of continental drift include 1. F.B. Taylor's theory of continental drift According to Taylor, originally, there were two land masses, Dolancia and Gondana land, located near the North and South Pole, respectively. These masses moved towards the equator because the moon came closer to the Earth and exerted the powerful tidal and gravitational forces on them, Laurentia equatorward movement resulted into tensional force near the North Pole. This caused the stretching, splinting, and rupturing of the land mass, leading to the formation of Baffini Bay, Labrada Sea, and Davis Street. Similarly, the displacement of Guandana land from the South Sea Pole towards the equator led to the splitting of the mass into Great Australian Bight and the Rose Sea around the Antarctic continent. Arctic Sea 
was formed between Greenland and Siberia due to equatorward movement of Laurentia. Antarctic and Indian Oceans were formed when water filled the gaps between the drifting continents. Terra assumed that the land masses began to move in a robust form while drifting through zones of lesser resistance. Thus, mountains and island arcs were formed in the frontal part of the moving globes. Himalayas, Caucasus, and the Alps were considered to have been formed during equatorial movement of Laurentia and Guandana land from the North and South Pole, respectively. While Rockies and Andes were formed due to Western movement of the land masses. Criticisms of F.B. Taylor's theory of continental drift. Taylor failed to explain why the moon came close to the earth at that time. It is doubtable if the moon could exert that strong force to pull the two supercontinents together, if at all the moon came close. According to Taylor, mountains were formed through tidal attraction, but failed to explain the origin of mountains such as Caledonian, which existed before tidal attraction. Seafloor spreading. It was advanced by an American geologist, Henry Hayes, who based his theory after studying the bed of the Atlantic Ocean, in which he observed the presence of ridges between Africa and America. Seafloor spreading occurs when the seafloor moves apart along both sides of the mid-ocean ridge as a new crust is added by volcanic activity. As a result, ocean flows move like a conveyor belt carrying continents along with them. Evidences to support the seafloor spreading Pearl-shaped rocks found on the ocean floor could only have formed when molten material hardened quickly after erupting underwater. These rocks showed that the molten material continuously erupts along the mid-ocean ridge. The magnetic polarity of sea floor changes. The center of the ridge is of normal polarity. Stripes of normal and reverse polarity are found symmetrically on both sides of the ridge. The youngest sea floor is at the ridge. The oldest is farthest from the ridge. This indicates that new rocks are continuously forming at the ridge. Alfred Wagner's theory of continental drift. Wagner's theory assumed that there was one giant sealic land mass or supercontinent known as Pangea. 
and was located in the South Sea near the present day South Pole, surrounded by a huge expanse of water or ocean known as Panta Lhasa during the Precambrian period about 250 million years ago Pangaya began lifting and lifting northwards. Pangaya cracked and broke into land masses that is Rolantia and Gondwa the land separated by a narrow sea Tethe or universal sea. At about 135 million years ago, Guandana land and Laurasia drifted northwards, leading to the closure of the Tethe Sea in the east. Laurasia split into North America, Eurasia, Greenland, Iceland, while Gondwana land split into Africa. South America, India, Austria, and Antarctica. During the drifting, the oceans between the continental blocks became wider, forming the present day ocean basins like Atlantic and Pacific. In the north, Eurasia drifted eastwards. In the south, Africa moved to attain its present location astride the, the equator. South America drifted westwards and northwards to join North America. India drifted northwards to join Eurasia. Australia drifted eastwards away from the Antarctica about 65 years ago. all evidences to support Wegener's theory. The Giso all visual feet of continents. There's a close fitting Giso puzzle of the continental coastlines across the Atlantic Ocean. That is the east coast of South America and west coast of Africa have a good visual fit. Geometrical fit of continents. The west coastline of Africa and the east coastline of South America fit almost exactly on each other if rotated at an angle of 57 degrees with rotational point of 40 degrees north and 30 degrees east. Matching geology or similarity of rocks. For example, Africa and South America have rocks with a convincing boundary joined between Akura and Sorui in Brazil. Similar oil beds. Oil beds in Brazil are similar to those of Angola in Africa. Matching orogenic zones or belts. The alignment of belts of forward mountains matches across the joint of Africa and America. For example, the folded ranges in Falkland Island and Argentina are similar in age and structure to those of the southwest cape of South Africa, the Cape Ranges. Gerasio evidence, the Dawika Tilt. Thick deposit of Tilt, fossilized Gerasio Molin in eastern Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina are exactly like those of South Africa. Australia implying that the continents at one time were near or to cross each other. 
similarities in sedimentary basins along the north eastern Brazil coast, South Nigeria and Cameroon. Similar sedimentary rocks sequence exist. The low beds of the bust match exactly on both continents. Similarity in plant and animal species in Australia and South Africa and also in Africa and South America. Paleomagnetic evidence or fossil magnetism in the rocks. Studies indicate that in India, Australia, South America, the magnetic properties in the magnetized rocks no longer point in the north-south direction as it is expected. This suggests that during the course of drifting, rocks were twisted and changed direction. Existence of laterites in North America and Europe proves that these continents once experienced tropical climatic conditions. Existence of coral reefs in Greenland, Britain, North America is an evidence of their drifting from the tropics where there is a cold climatic condition is. Solid beds in the colored parts of USA, Britain, Germany, Russia is an evidence for continental drift from tropics because solid beds occur in the tropics. Proximity of continental land masses to the North Pole than the South Pole. Existence of four the mountains justify the theory of continental drift because four the mountains like Himalaya formed when there was a compression of forces acting in the same direction. Identical fossils on different continents, for example, the ancient reptile Mesosaurus are only found in the Southern Africa and South America, yet there is no evidence that it swam across the Atlantic Ocean.